Today's workout was really good. It was my first official workout back from Hawaii. So that always feels great when you break a sweat, when you come off the plane. And uh, the workout was a little bit different than last week. And I'm adjusting the next couple of weeks to have a daily max on each one of the big three every single main session. So I'll be hitting a daily max on squat three times a week, daily max on bench three times a week, and daily max on deadlift twice a week. And I'm doing this because as my weight is coming down, I wanna make sure that my body is comfortable with handling heavier weight, but I will make sure to keep my daily maxes at around a RPE 7 and RPE 8. Today we started off with some pod squats. I hit a daily max of 405, and then I backed off with 345 for three sets. And then we moved on to bench, and I hit a daily max of 315. Then I did a three by three with 265. Then we moved on to the overhead press and I did a daily max with 185 and backed off sets with 155. And finally, the last daily max that I did was pull-ups and I did that with two plates and I backed off with 75 pounds. And the main goal for the next couple of weeks is to really build back my strength in the basics, the squat, bench, deadlift, as well as the overhead press and pull-ups. Squats felt pretty good actually. I was pretty surprised how easy I was able to pause 405 on my first training session back. So that gives me a lot of hope. I really think in the next three to five months, I'll be squatting 500, I'll be pulling 600. Uh, bench is a little bit harder. As I lose weight, it's really hard to gauge where my bench is at, but I think I could get it back to at least around 380. For the next three weeks, I'll be increasing 10 pounds on the squat, bench, and deadlift. And after that, I'll readjust and kind of see where my numbers are at. So I'll make sure to adjust weekly in accordance to the bigger plan. The weight was going really good up until Hawaii. Fitness isn't my mainstay. I'm mainly a comedian, a writer, and I do all the JK stuff and fitness is my passion. So when I'm in Hawaii on vacation, I really try to enjoy myself and have a really good time. And so what that usually means is I order two dishes because I can never make up my mind on the two things that I wanna eat. So I did gain a little bit of weight, but not much. And I did swim a lot of sprints. If you check my Instagram, you'll be seeing I was doing all kinds of water activities. And I thought I was gonna be 205 when I came back, but I'm actually just 200. So I'm not, I, I didn't get set back very much. Immediately, I'll probably 199 next week and the next week 198 and I'm back on track. A lot of people might see my gaining weight in Hawaii as a setback. Like, oh no, you're, you were on track and now you're over 200. Oh no, you were on track and now you're 200 again. But this is actually a very controlled weight gain and weight loss. I've done this for a long, long time now. If you've been following JK and Barbell since back in the day in 2008, I was 190, 170. 200 165 my first powerlifting meet i competed at 165 before that i weighed 200 pounds and then i've competed at 181 198 220s i've competed everywhere and i'm very very in control of my body weight so it's not something that i can't overcome and it's not something that i haven't done already as well